the tiles um, do need a bit of a scrub in the bathroom. Um, I've just recently bought a grout pen. I think it's called a grout pen. Um, I've been doing in between the grout lines because they were getting discoloured. So I thought, what can I do? So I got this from Ron Seal. It's a um, brilliant white. And what you do is you just sort of, it's basically a paint with a little nib and then you paint in to the grout lines to get them clean because they were looking really quite dull and discoloured and it's worked quite well. You have to leave it for 24 hours to dry but one coat apparently and it's mould resistant, waterproof um, and everything else like that. So yeah, I've tried that on the tiles and it has helped to sort of, I, you have to get rid of the mould first but it has helped to brighten up the tiles which I'm quite pleased with. Oh, no. I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Oh, na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby, going down, 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 down Baby, going down, 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 down curtain I've just recently got because I bought um, a fabric one a sort of white one with sort of diamante bits on it but the thing is with the fabric ones I find that they go orange or they go a funny color at the bottom or they mold and you you have to keep washing them to get the mold off or it's very hard to clean them but with these um, PVC I think it is ones they're much easier to clean um, and they're in a the small bathroom they're good because they're see-through and they make the bathroom look bigger so the see-through ones I really like made of this sort of plastic and then they're really easier to clean at the bottom i 
so here's Belinda again and I've got this flask and um, what I use it for is to keep uh, my Edgley Brewster in for when I want a coffee on the go I've got some instant Nescafe down here as well so I boil up the kettle just using the little butane pods butane doesn't work very well when it's cold that's the only trouble so it was really chilly on this day so making a cup of coffee was rather a slow process I'm going to cook up something in the back here Use my little stove I mean this stove's only small so obviously it can't cook up much so I've only got one pan um, and a butane canister which I'm going to use to fire these up um, I've got some bread rolls and some lettuce and something to put in them um, as well to make a burger bun uh, this is the storage area where I keep most of my utensils. So I've got the spatula for the pan. I uh, brought a new pan somewhere in here. It's a bit of a junk heap at the moment. I'm tr trying to get it on top of it always a nightmare. But yeah, it's got a lot of storage in the Bilingo. Um, so that's quite handy. So there's my pan, as you can see. Um, and I've got this toasty thing which you put on top of the pan and it, it makes toast. So you can have beans on toast or something like that if you want anything on toast um, so it sort of sits I guess on top of the gas and then it oh I don't know I have to read the instructions of course before I use it um, and I rinse the pan out after I peeled off the label guess who I stumbled across on my travels today this little foxy he's so cute and he was so tame um, he was after what I was cooking in the back um, and he just wouldn't go away he just kept stand in there and stand in there and look in and he was so inquisitive bless him and he's trying to get he's trying to get I'm freaking out because he was trying to get in the in the van and I'm like please no please you know I mean I'm used to dogs and stuff but I've never encountered a fox this friendly so he's trying to get in my door and I'm trying to shoo him away and I'm thinking he's looking at me and I'm thinking what am I going to do but he was so sweet and I like any wildlife anyway, so obviously he was my friend.